Welcome to chapter 3 of the basic chemistry series. First I want to go over what we already know from chapter 2. We know that in the center of an atom there is a proton and there is a neutron. Together this is called a nucleus. And the electron is in the outer part of the atom that orbits the nucleus in different energy shells. We know that the periodic table is set up in rows that go horizontal and these describe different shells. So the first row would be period one, it would have one shell, period two would have two shells, and period three would have three shells. We know that the groups or the vertical columns describe how many valence electrons are in the outermost shell. So looking at group one, as we go down the periods, period one, there's one. In column one, there would be one valence electron on the outermost shell. For column two, this column, period two, there's two shells. In period three, there's three shells. So this would mean there are two valence electrons in the outermost shell. We know that an electron is built to the electron configuration through orbitals. Uh, from the off-ball principle, we know that we start with the lowest energy value, which would be 1s. One electron would be hydrogen. If we wanted to go to helium, we would put two electrons in an orbital, which would be this box. We know that only two electrons can be in an orbital, and they have to be of opposite spin, so we describe that by putting arrows where one arrow is pointing up and one arrow is pointing down. If we wanted to go to lithium, start another orbital, which would be 2s. If we wanted to go to oxygen, we'd start the 2p orbital, which are all of equal energy. Then we would fill in orbitals of equal energy, the same spin first. Then we would come back and start filling in orbitals with opposite spins. In addition to what we learned in chapter two, before we start into chapter three, I want to point out a category on the periodic table that is called the main group elements. And that involves the first and second column, or 1a and 2a. And then I want to go over to column 13, or 3a, through column 18, or 8a. And these are called the main group elements.